Good morning, you two. Welcome to Art Today. I hope you're all safe and well at home and ready to make a sun picture. And to make this sun picture today, we're going to follow two different videos. In the first video, I'm going to show you how to make the painted face, the yellow and red painted face, and the foil center where the face is. And in the second video, I'm going to show you how to do the printing all the way around the edge of the face. So let's get started. Um, if today we're using paint, but if you don't have any paint at home, then it's fine to do the same activity using pencil crayon. Um, but if you do have paint, it would be great for you to use that. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do the yellow and orange background and the silver face in the middle. And to do those two things, we need a piece of A4 paper, a plate to draw around, you need some red and yellow paint, a small piece of silver foil, <clears throat> a paintbrush, a cup to draw around, a black pen and a pencil. Lots of equipment today. Okay, so to get started year what year two, we're going to take our A4 piece of paper and we're going to put our plate in the middle and just gently draw around it. Okay, and this will give us the shape of the sun. There we are. Okay, and then I'm going to, like I showed you last week, I'm going to blend the two colours together, the yellow and the red, to make, if you have a look at my, um, my painting, I've got a sort of orangey colour and I managed to get that by blending my yellow and red paints together. If you remember when you were doing your sun and moon painting, I asked you to do a similar technique. So blending the two colours together. And if you remember, I don't need to mix my paints. I don't need to ch um, clean my brush in between changing colours. So this is how we're going to go about doing it. I want to make my sun look like a big circle. So when I paint, I'm going to paint in a circular direction like this. So I'm going to start off with my yellow paint and I'm going to do big circle shapes around my piece of paper. And all the paint, 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 the brush strokes are going in one direction. So now I'm going to start adding some red paint. So I'm blending those two colours together and it's creating an orange colour. So I think in the middle, I want to have more yellow. It's up to you how you to decide to mix the two colours together. Let me do just a little bit more yellow in the centre. So you can see I've got more yellow on the outside and more orangey as you come in. Okay, so that is my sun painting for the background, okay? And I'm going to ask you to put that to one side to let it dry. And whilst that's drying, you can take your piece of silver foil and take your cup and you're going to draw around the cup using the pen this time because pen will show up better, okay? There we go, and then, oh, one piece of equipment I didn't remind you to get is a pair of scissors. 
and you're just going to cut out that piece of foil. Okay. And when your background for the sun is dry, mine's still wet, but you're going to be sticking that into the middle. Okay, so I'm going to make a sun face in the middle of my silver foil, a bit like the one I did earlier on my first picture. So I'm going to do two eyes, and we all have talked about the position of eyes, but I'm not going to draw the centre of the eyes, I'm just going to leave them black like this. There we go. And then I'm going to do eyebrows, but the eyebrows in this case are attached to the nose like this. They come round. And then just a very simple mouth shape like this. And then I'm going to start adding patterns to my son's face. So I'm going to do a spiral shape at the edges. So I start in the middle with my spiral shape and I work around in a circle. There I go. And now I'm going to add a pattern all around the edge and I'm going to use triangles to do my pattern. There we go. It's up to you what design you decide to put on your sun face. Right around the edge. And this is going to go in the centre of my <coughs> painted piece of paper. Now mine is still wet, so I'm going to leave it to dry and then I'm going to stick that in the centre. Once you've stuck it in the centre, if you notice on my finished piece of work, I then drew a circle all the way around the silver foil sun. And then I did one more pattern all around the edge. So you can do that. You can add a pattern all the way around your sun shape and then stop there. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the prints all the way around the sun. Okay, I'll see you in a minute in the next video. Bye-bye. <clears throat>